Hi there, just to end this tutorial, I would like to address one thing that probably if it's still not clear to you, it is how to create these data fields, okay? So remember that the solver and any solver will compute some primitive fields, no? So you access that information, so see that for velocity is computing these fields, but then you have all the variables, store volumes and everything. Now, for instance, let's say that you want to compute the square of the velocity. See so that that field doesn't exist here. Okay, so you need to create it. So those are called custom field functions. So as you see here, it's where you create those fields. So in this case, you're, you're ready to have a few fields there, but I will just visit how to create it. So as you go here, new, right click here, new. Okay, and if you want to manage whatever exists, just manage there. So you click new and just create that field and it start to choose what you want to use. So I say that I want to create the square of the velocity. So you select velocity, and let's say that you want now X velocity component. So you have access to all these variables there. Access that one, select, and just put here a square and give it an, a name. So I will call it vel square. Define, and you have it there. So now when you go in contour or any of these options, you can plot it. You go here and they say custom field function, and there you have it there. So that one is derived from that field. So that is how I proceed to create all the others. So for instance, let me create a, again this one, integral lens scales. Okay, so you go new and you start to do to select the variable. So this one, remember this, uh, we're using the k axiom model, the integral lens scales are computed. So we need to access turbulence to kinetic energy. Okay, select. So that one is to the power of 1.5 and then divide it by epsilon. You have here epsilon. Okay, select and give it a name and call it L02. Define and now you have your new variable. Okay, so here L02. And if we compare it to the previous one, that probably there will be, you have it there. Okay. So this is how you create your, your variables, okay? So uh, one thing that here in manage, so be careful also with the parentheses now where you put it. So probably here would be better to create parentheses and parentheses, like I did, okay, in the original, I didn't put it as well, but probably it's better parentheses. And something also to uh, to show you, so let me create another one, I will call it uh, shear velocity. So this one, remember the shear velocity, you sample in a point and you have the wall shear stresses. So as you go here in monitors, uh, I created those functions here. So see that I have this plotting along this line and then get it the wall shear stress. Okay, so basically I create it and you can access these monitors, these report definitions as well. So as you go here, you will see that report definition and you can access that. So in my case, I want wall shear stress. So that, uh, okay, let me erase and this will be better like this. Okay, wall shear stress, dividing density that in this case, I think is one or I don't recall. Put it and this to the power of 0 0.5 and you give it a name. So I will call it BS2 and you have it there. So see that you can also easily access whatever you create there, you can access to do your plotting. So that's all that I wanted just to refresh your memory. Okay, so it's the field that you are going to use doesn't exist, you can create it here. So be careful that sometimes to run the simulation and to compute a statistic, it's better to compute this, to create this field before running, okay? But there is no problem if you have run also and you forget it, you can stop the simulation and create it. But it's a good practice just to create everything before running okay so that's all thank you for your attention see you in the next video bye